my channel i'm calling the vocal and the film about relationships growth lifestyle and i have a new face here on the channel hey guys i'm called sandra mm. and i'm here as the guest of the day we're here to talk about the idea of distance relationships like what's your opinion do you think distance relationships can actually work i mean because we know lots of people will say i read a meme somewhere and say distance relationship can actually work if the four of you trust each other <laughs> like, and it was so funny like normally people always like they're in a distance relationship but the tendency is one person is cheating the other is not cheating or two are cheating that's why they say except the four of you trust is each other it all depends though what do you have to say about that um distance relationship can work and at the same time it cannot work for example when you get into a relationship with someone who knows what he wants or what she wants you get into a relationship with someone who is mature but we don't want the mature types nowadays we want the hot guys yes, the washed on tons we want the happening guys he who has the cars who can make all the okay. vibes who can zanku but get into a relationship with a mature guy at that point in time, he knows what he wants. He knows what he has gotten into. He knows he has somebody. At that point in time, there's no age for cheating though. But he's more he's more conscious of the fact that there's someone somewhere that he has kept who is aware of the fact that he too is somewhere that he's coming back shortly or in the long run or she will cross over or he'll cross over and meet her or him. So it might be either ways and it might still be the same thing like the girl or the boy back at home to my cheat or wherever they are the person on ground might still cheat so the cheating might come from either ways but the maturity counts because the more, the more mature you are the more you know how to handle some certain situations the way a guy of 35 years will handle his relationship a guy of 25 years old a guy of 13 <laughs> years will not no a guy of 13 years will not will never do that no are you trying to tell us that if you're mature if or if both parties are mature enough it's a guarantee for the relationship to it work can out. work that's 70 percent it can work because mature there's no age for cheating at any age at any stage you cheat and so it's not really a guarantee but it's you have an upper hand compared to those who get into distance relationship at a very young and tender age like it's mostly all of, all about lust they are more excited and you know what it, it all entails for me i will personally say like distance relationship for it to work my god communication ah that's the key that's the key factor yeah, yeah, like like communicate without because that's the only thing you guys have if they take away communication you guys have nothing to hold on to so true you have like that's the only thing that is connecting you guys so once the communication stops or once the communication reduces it's like yes we are going in for a doom because it's not like you are in the same country or the same well, town you have to see or each yes, other. It's so you have to replace it with those phone calls text messages even when you're busy like and the worst is when you guys are having issues and you're in a distant relationship that's when you, you now have to use wisdom they say wisdom is profitable to direct you now there are people who take anger differently i mean somebody can be angry and be like i don't want to talk i just want to stay on my own another person will be angry and wants to talk yeah. so what if the person you're actually dating out of the country or you're in a distant relationship with is that kind of person who does not like to talk when they're angry and you know that keeping silence and keeping distance for like a week or two can do a lot a lot can happen yeah. in that week or two like so sure. much can happen so so much but it's not a situation here that if i start want to talk to you the person can bash into your house you know where i'm staying i know where you're staying if i have an issue i don't talk to you pop pop the next time you enter a car mm -hmm. you bash into my house and we'll sort out issues but this time one person can be willing to sort out the issue and the other person does it's not even not want to the talk end. doesn't even want to listen to your own side of the story the person just wants to be on the own so how are you going to do that even dare reach out to his friends you'll be like are you even serious we have issues and you reach out to my friends like you're getting them involved in our relationship so communication is key because they say an idle mind is a devil's workshop when, when you sit quiet you just start remembering that hey in i had juan before i even met you so now that you're stressing me let me just chill with uh, juan and 
one thing will lead to another bestie 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 so i feel so bad for people who are in distant relationships and they're dating the kind of people who when they have issues they want to be on their own i mean that's not the environment or the time to be on your own bad energy you are in a distant relationship people just have to talk even if people are making one one answer mm, yes how fine See and by talk. communication we don't mean like you should talk 24 on 7 no make out time you're both busy you're busy and busy we're in a distant relationship but for this relationship to grow it takes two to agree for this relationship to grow we need to be by each other like even if you're very busy just a high is more than enough a high shows that at least you're thinking and you know i'm existing though i'm away I still exist. I cannot overemphasize on this communication part because that's the only thing you guys have. Once there is no communication, then you have nothing to hold on to. Nothing. For example, the boy is out of the country and the girl is in the country and you don't have something doing. You're just like, you're, you're not going to school, you're not working, I'm you're just friend. at the home and you know that the person out of the country is busy like out of the country is not easy they are working two four seven he's always busy you don't expect the fact that because you're sitting and you have nothing doing for that moment you just expect that he's supposed to be calling all the time like you're seeing your friends do with their boyfriends who are in the same country it doesn't work like that he's busy if he says he wakes up in the morning he talks to you in the morning and he goes to work he has eight hours of work at most let's say like direct without break without anything you should understand like he is at work now. You don't expect that he should every other two hours he steals his phone, try to call you or talk. To you. Yes, he can take his phone, like text you, babe. How are you okay? I just want to check up on you. I'm still at work. But don't expect you going to have long hours of talking on the phone and laughing during okay. work. In that's where problems usually come from because people back at home always feel like this other person is ignoring, this other person is ignoring, this other person is claiming to be, to be busy. busy. <laughs> that word, claiming to be busy. You know that bushfellas are always busy. I mean, it's a normal thing. They have to work, they have to work for the money, they have bills to pay, we know. So, when they just start giving that out, you just know that like, you're claiming to be busy. But it's the truth, they're actually really busy. Yeah. Actually Sometimes he might come back from work, or she might come back from work, and not tired. be that tired to talk to you, they might talk. But there are some days that you're really tired and worn out, and there's no way to talk and you should just, just me the yes, best i've forgotten about just you just understand just understand yes i know there are more sexy girls out there this that and so what mommy he saw you and he saw that sexy girl girls who are very fond of doing that emotional oh, blackmail we always do that like when he says oh baby i'm tired i came back from work i'm tired can i just yeah. rest we'll talk tomorrow mm -hmm. yes you just add malice <laughs> no. i'll start nagging let's cut some slack girls try to be understanding like communication and understanding you see, you can communicate your life out to somebody, but if the person is not understanding you, it's useless. You're on your own, Sha. You're just on your own. So, as you communicate, you make sure that the person at the receiving end is understanding what you're, the message you're trying to pass across for it to actually work. Because if one person is communicating and if the other person is not understanding, it will not work out. It will really not work out. Another ingredient to that can mix um, distant relationships to be really strong, trust. Because you're not there to see the person like 247 But just that fact that you trust the person like He is that in every relationship for a relationship to work you need to trust each other Relationship without trust it's it can't really stand Like you say they say love or be trust no That's a, Yes to an extent that's true but for a relationship to work out, you need to trust your man, you need to trust your woman. The thing with this relationship is that you, the other person in the other country always has people, informants that give news about what the person in the country is doing. By the time the girl will sit the whole day in the house and don't go out, the moment you just step out, they have already called your partner over and say, Yes, I saw her, yeah, 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 yeah. And even if she forgot to tell you, or she was waiting for you to close from work before telling you she went somewhere. I mean, I'm a boss, I've already spread the social news. media <laughs> in laws. That's how we call them the social media in laws who are there just waiting for the relationship to collapse. When you start bringing in now distrust, that's how your relationship begins collapsing, and that's how eventually it's going to fall like the wall of Jericho. <laughs>
giving in your best, giving in your all. With this relationship, is not something I'm in or I'm not in. You are either well, like fully you. in or you are fully out. Yeah. You have to be very committed for it to work. Because at times when you feel like, oh my god, I'm just really tired. Like you're talking to somebody on space. Thank God for video calls, even that has made it easier. You just feel like you're talking to somebody on in the air and you've never seen the person yeah. or to hug the person. There are times when we just need a hug, but the person is not there, so you just have to fully fully committed most of the times we hear the, the bad sides of the story like they'll tell you if he has to travel forget him mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's the end of it just forget about him i have a couple of friends who have actually taken that advice and now they are in hell like they are still so much into these guys and i have a couple of friends who didn't take that advice and today they are happily married the guys have come back home come to marry them the girls even traveled and they came back home and they met their Soulmates, as you can call it, and they are happy together. Even when you go, you have to tell us about the fact that people are in distant relationship and you're expecting that this person is so busy working all the time. At least the person is supposed to, in a month, say, maybe take 5,000 francs for data. At least you're video calling me every day. That's the problem. You cannot be video calling me every day and every month. They be able to give me 5k for data. How does that work? How do you show love? It's a love without spending, it's nuisance. You're just boring me. You need to actually, it's not like you should send like hundreds of millions to the girl every month. But you're not expecting to send like all yes. your allowance. But just the fact, things are no more the same. You could ask her when you're in Cameroon that what do you need data to do? I'm always by your side, mm-hmm. even though as a, someone needs to browse. But not that kind of heavy data. But now, you need to talk, you need to see each other. Video call does not consume the same like uh, like voice call. Video call consumes a lot of data. So you as the guy, just chipping. There are some times that a girl really wants to talk to you. She will look for every means to find data. Don't be blind to those little sacrifices. Like, even a little bit of credit is going to speak a lot. It's going to speak a lot. Like, even how, no matter how busy you are, just some little gifts sometimes it's going to like put a smile on her face you must not be present like to give her gifts in person no you everywhere on all of us everybody's status now you have this friend that is selling shoes clothes everybody is a ceo mm-hmm. you can see somewhere you'll be like how much does this cost where i want me to run for my that's just more than enough like the girl knows she's somewhere in your heart not like shut her out completely and you don't give her no money, money for money, data no you don't you know pay just nothing. sex understand baby i'm busy i mean i'm working for our even future if I'm one, i will have second thoughts nah, 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 if you nah. love somebody you need to spend there is no love without spending you need to spend you need to spend so it's just important that you actually encourage her Say how even if it's 10k like put data for the month she knows how okay you know this person is thinking about me or so yeah I, in as much as you're telling her you're saving for the future or whatever, but it does not mean we die in the present while waiting for the future. If we die in the present, how will we reach the future? So, what's the while, that's what brings problem, most problems in distant relationships. Like, and the boy at the other end is feeling like he's sending, the boys at the other end feel like when they send money to girls in Africa or back home, um, the girls take the money and they're spending it with other guys. That should not be a mentality, it should not be your problem. That's why you're sending her the money. You are actually sending her this money because you know what she wants to do yeah. with the money. You trust that that's what she's going to do with the money. Don't have that fear and that conception in mind that she's going to be taking your money and be spending it with other guys. Mm-hmm. No. Ah. If she wanted to spend your money with other guys, since she should have done it, when you were here, should have done it. She can still use her own money and spend on other guys. She's not waiting for your own money to spend on other guys. So know the kind of person you're dealing with. Know your yeah. girl. Know your girl. And if you know that okay she genuinely needs this thing send her the money don't let that mentality cloud your mind that she's going to use the money to squander it with another guy or you're paying jk bills and another person is eating your food because that's the mentality boys out of the country yeah, always they have they don't need distance you cheat if you want to cheat even when the person is here you still cheat distance does not matter you cheat a cheat will always remain a cheat oh it's not a matter of distance distant relationships to me 80% can work. It depends on how mature you how are. How serious you How are. serious the level of communication is Commitment. Key. How committed and trust. Like, and then now the small shadows, the gifts, the, you know, 
to spice up. That you give always need to like, spice yeah. up because it, the thing is really boring. Like this relationship is naturally boring. Like without the spice, it's boring. Just sitting and talking to this person all the time on phone yeah. is boring. So once in a while, you need to spice it up. I mean, and it's not a, like it's a one way something. The girls who can also do it. Yeah. The boy is staying there. He's staying maybe with his sister or his roommate or whatever. And you communicate to them. You can one day. Since I don't have Amazon to like other place um, online others and deliver to the house, you could use the friend or whatever and like please I want you to get me this thing for for my boyfriend. And, and it'll be cheaper him. that way. Very, very cheap. It'll be cheaper very, that way. Very, very cheap. So it's not a one way something. You always need to spice it up from time to time and let the other person know that you have them in heart. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and staying till this point. Please, if you haven't subscribed at this point, please beg, beg them. Please, guys, tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody to subscribe. Don't be enjoying all these sweet gist and vibes alone. Let's ginger our loved ones' lives. Let's make them to enjoy, to savor the taste, the fragrance of. Oh. Please. <laughs> Endeavor to subscribe guys Endeavor to subscribe and you will not be left out every Sunday and sometimes you have bonuses within the week Exactly. And, yeah, Thank you for doing this. You always the, give I'm bonus. a faithful subscriber. I know, Sha. <laughs> <laughs> you always have random videos within the week that I drop. So if you haven't subscribed, how are you going to know that YouTube is not going to send you a notification? That's why it's important to turn on your notification bell each time you subscribe so that you're going to be notified each time I drop a video. I'm a random video, so you're equally going to get notified and you will not miss any sweet images. Okay, <laughs> make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and come back here again to watch more amazing content. Okay, bye, bye guys. guys.